65 year old woman is in the hospital after being bitten by a shark this morning. It happened about 8.30 in Anaya Ho'omalu Bay near Waikoloa on the Big Island. Fire crews quickly responded and closed area beaches as a precaution. Jen Boniza has the latest. Jen? Joe, I spoke to the victim, Kimberly Bishop, after she got out of surgery this morning. She was bitten on her upper thigh, but she says she's doing okay. She tells me it happened when she and her husband were kayaking. Kimberly Bishop and her husband, Kim, were kayaking in AB this morning, something they've done many times before. The water was really clear, so I could see in front of me. There was nothing in front of me. We could see all the way down. That's when she says something bumped her kayak. Something came from behind, knocked over the kayak, and bit my leg. She knew she'd been bitten by a shark and yelled to her husband for help. I saw the fins in the water, and I immediately... Um, paddled as fast as I could to get over to her. She was able to get back into her kayak and they called for someone to help them. Officials say she was attacked by a five foot long black tip reef shark. Shark expert Michael Domeyer tells me there are two things that make him think it was a different type of shark. The first is the size of Bishop's wound. Officials reported it was 12 inches long. That's a big bite for a black tip reef shark. They only get about five feet long. So it sounds a lot more like a tiger shark, to be quite honest. Black tip reef sharks, they eat fish. They're not interested in people. They're not really interested in floating items. Tiger sharks, they're much more scavengers. They'll eat just about anything, and they will investigate floating objects. Attacks by black tip reef sharks are extremely rare. There are only 11 attacks of black tips on record worldwide, compared to 111 attacks by tiger sharks and 314 by great whites. Bishop tells me, though it was a frightening experience, it hasn't changed her love of the ocean. Sharks live in the water. It's their home, and we understand that. I will go kayaking again. Bishop and her husband are very grateful to the outrigger canoe paddlers who helped get her to shore. She says once her leg heals, the scar will make for a great story. Joe.